seems machine learning is everywhere nowadays. And with so many offerings for you as a mobile developer, it can get really confusing as to where you should start. I'm Ibrahim Ulukaya, an engineer on the Firebase team, and I'm here today to introduce you to the options that are available to you. If we could carry data centers in our pocket with unlimited battery, it would be much easier. But using ML for mobile apps means thinking about the processing power, battery consumption, and connectivity of our device. There are a number of factors that will dictate the ML strategy and tools you'll want to use, like whether you want to keep the data local, if you require low latency, or if you need access to the processing power of the cloud. Luckily, Google offers a number of ML options for mobile developers that can help you develop and deploy ML models for the environment that fits your use case. To help you pick which ML deployment option fits best, I'll walk you through a few key decision points. The first question you should ask yourself is where you want to perform ML inferences, in the cloud or on the device. You would use the cloud if you are already using an existing cloud service for model inferences or you run inferences infrequently and want to minimize impact on the device battery life, or need to support older, less performant devices, or if you need high accuracy models that require the compute power of the cloud. On the other hand, there are cases in which it might be useful to do ML inference on the mobile device. For example, if you want to keep data local to the device, you need low latency, such as when processing multiple frames in quick succession. You want inferences to work even when the device is offline. Or your users may be in an area of the world where high-speed wireless connectivity is non-existent or unreliable. So now that you understand all the considerations, let me present the options available to you. First, is to run inference in the cloud. And there's a world of tools and APIs you can use. These include Cloud Vision for image recognition and classification, Cloud Natural Language API for text parsing and analysis, AutoML that allows you to customize models that are served from the cloud. All are available via REST APIs. I won't go into them all here, but you can learn more at cloud.google.com slash products slash AI slash building that blocks. Next is to run inference on the device. And you have two main options. You can either use TF Lite directly or you can use MLKit for Firebase. MLKit is a mobile SDK that brings Google's machine learning experience to Android and iOS apps in a powerful yet easy to use package. It comes with a set of ready-to-use APIs, both for on-device and cloud-based inference. They support common mobile use cases like image labeling, face detection, text recognition, and barcode scanning, to name a few. You simply pass in the data to the MLKit library, and it will give you the information you need. Whether you are new to or experienced with machine learning, you can implement the functionality you need all in a few lines of code. And it includes both Android and iOS libraries. While the on-device APIs process data quickly and will work even when there is no network connection, the cloud-based APIs leverage the power of Google Cloud Platform's machine learning technology to give a higher level of accuracy. If you have a use case that's different than offered models, MLKit also offers the ability to deploy and experiment with your own custom TensorFlow Lite models to run on-device inference. It works like this. After converting your model to the TF Lite format, you can host and serve it to your users. MLKit for Firebase can then be used to host and dynamically serve TF Lite models to your users and it provides convenient APIs that help you use your custom TF Lite models in your mobile apps. 
With MLKit for Firebase, you can reduce the initial install size of your mobile app and only download the model when needed. Dynamically swap models on the fly without having to republish your app to the App Store. Target different user segments with models tailored specifically for them. Run A-B experiments with multiple models to find the best performing one. If you'd like, you can also use your TF Lite model on mobile directly with TF Lite APIs. These offer blazingly fast inference times, particularly on Android devices that support the neural network APIs, and a variety of ways to host and deploy your model. For mobile developers looking to implement machine learning into their apps, there are several directions to choose, depending on how much flexibility you want or how specific you, your use case is. We covered some key factors that help you decide, like whether you do your inference on the device or in the cloud, and whether you want to use the pre-trained models Google provides, or train and bring your custom model. Check out our full session at Next for a deep dive analysis, live experiments, and the latest ML offerings from Google.